Hey guys, this is Caesar with Inspire Our Movement, so very glad that you're joining us for one more segment. Uh, today, we're going to do a fitness workout as a family. I'm joined today by my son, Daniel, up front. He's gonna be leading the exercises for us today. To my right, I have my other son, Nicholas, uh, Daniel's girlfriend, Ashley, lovely girlfriend, Ashley, and also my lovely wife, Sandra, who's also gonna be uh, doing some of the exercises. Exercise is extremely important. We've all been holed up in the house uh, through the quarantine and lockdowns for quite a period. Um, that leads to anxiety and stress. And nature and exercise certainly does wonders to alleviate that stress. So that, that's what this is all about. With that, I'm gonna shut up and pass it on to Daniel who's gonna lead us right into the exercises. Daniel? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get started today with some workouts that are completely equipment free. So we're gonna start first of all with some upper body workouts working the chest, back, shoulders, all upper body with no equipment. So let's, start, let's get started right away. We're gonna use the push-up. <laughs> Multiple variations, everybody could just make it to the floor now. So what we wanna do is have the hands at about shoulder's width, point your fingers slightly outward to focus on the chest. And when we come down, we're gonna go down for five seconds. Two, three, four, five, shoot back up. Again, one, two, three, four, five, shoot back up. Make sure that you're squeezing the chest on the way down. Keep the elbows tight. There we go. Now obviously here, she's doing it differently. If you are a beginner, it's your first time, what you wanna do is put your knees on the floor instead of your feet. This will cut the weight significantly. Make sure that you follow the same form. Keep the elbows in. It's a there we go, there we go. Okay. Now let's finish up. Last one. Good stuff. Next one. Using the same push-up form, what we're gonna do, this is called the rock climber push-up. What we are simply gonna do, start in a push-up position, hands at shoulders width, take two small steps forward. One, two. Knees should be bent, legs should be in an L, formation. What you want to do is come down slowly, same thing as before, elbows tight. Knees should not touch the floor and shoot back up. Again. Good. Let's see it. Make sure that the legs are closer together. Remember you took two steps forward. Knees should be bent. Very good. This is concentrating on the chest area. You should feel a lot of tension there. Good, good, good. Finish up the last rep there. Very nice. Now this one, last push-up variation. What we are going to do is a close grip push-up as well as a wide grip push-up. So we're gonna start with the close grip. So instead of being at shoulders width, we're gonna slowly Put one hand about a hand's width closer. Fingers outward to concentrate on the chest. Come in, keep the elbows tight, do not flare them. Back up. Do not rest your body weight on the floor either. What you simply want to do is have your chest, stomach, whatever hits first on the ground, lightly touch and shoot back up. That's the close grip. So let's go ahead and start that. As you can see here once again, we have the alternate push-up. So if you can't handle your body weight and you're a beginner, you can just put your knees right here in the back instead of putting your feet out. That'll cut the weight by half. There we go. Make sure you maintain proper form. Nice job, guys. There we go. Now we're gonna switch to the wide grip push-up. So instead of shoulders width, we're gonna go hands width out. There we go. Now we're gonna come down. Don't flare. We're gonna keep the elbows straight. Right here. Shoot back up. What you wanna do is go down very slowly to put tension on the muscles. 
Make sure the elbows don't flare. There we go. Good stuff, guys. Okay. Now, this is an advanced form of that. If these are too easy for you, then what you can do is alternate between the close grip and the wide grip push-up. It's called the jump push-up. So we're gonna start at the close grip here. Come down, jump out into the wide push-up. If you are able to do it, go ahead. If you can't, you can do it in the alternate form. Good job, guys. All right, let's finish up. Last rep. All right, good job, guys. All right, next up, we're going to have a partner workout. So if you have a significant other within the household that wants to participate in a workout with you and they're willing to put in the work, Mr. Nicholas, come up here for one second. So what you would like, all right, what you're gonna wanna do is grab your partner's hands like so. Now we're gonna have one person working primarily in the biceps and the other on the triceps. It's a simple movement, keep the elbows locked, concentrate all weight on, uh, for me, my bicep, and for him, the tricep. So we're gonna come up here. He's gonna put resistance. So that way I put pressure on my bicep. I'm gonna reapply the resistance to him so that way he's working out his tricep. No weights, no nothing. All you need is another partner willing to put in the work with you. Back up. Of course, you can adjust the resistance if this is too easy, I'll tell Nick, put more resistance and I'll come back up. There we go, and I'll struggle on the way up. Make sure though, that when you're coming up, that you're not using body weight to propel yourself up. Make sure that your elbows are locked. Use resistance that you can handle. Tell your partner to adjust. Simply keep the elbows locked. Do not use any other muscles. We're working strictly in the biceps here. So come up, keep the elbows locked, perfect form and back down. Now we're gonna alternate, I'm going to do triceps now. I'm gonna start up here, he's gonna keep his elbows locked. There we go. Now he's working on biceps, and I'm working on triceps. Working on triceps is a difficult thing to do because in a situation like this, it's easy to wanna to use your body weight and push down. You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is keep the elbows locked, don't use any of your body weight, strictly your triceps. Resistance and back up. So partner up and go ahead and try that. Good job, guys. Don't be afraid to ask your partner to adjust the resistance. There we go, push each other, let's go. There we go, keep them elbows locked. Keep the elbows locked. Do not use any of your body weight. This is strictly bicep and tricep workout. Good job, guys. There we go. Let's see here. Once you guys feel tired with the bicep, go ahead and switch to tricep. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay, now we're gonna switch. Go ahead and get back on your mats. Go into the next workout. This is a quick full body workout, ladies and gentlemen. You could run through this quick within 25 minutes. You're at home, you're bored, you're in quarantine. Believe me, I've been through that and it sucks without having weights. You don't need weights. This is, and it, believe me, it's difficult when you try it yourself. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is work on lower body, right? So what we're gonna wanna do is get in a squat position. Feet should be just outside of shoulders width, like so. I like to put my hands up here near my chest. Next thing you know, you're coming down nice and slow. Nice and slow. And shoot back up. When you come back up, you're squeezing the glutes. Come down slowly. Legs are significantly harder to work out without weights. 
I understand that, you know, there's people squatting two, 300 pounds easily in the gym. So it can be frustrating to uh, work out your legs without weights, but if you come down real slow to the point where you're putting an uncomfortable amount of tension on the legs, it can be a workout. Squeeze the glutes on the way back up. Now what we're doing here is strictly working on the glutes. Keep the feet spread out like this. Here we go, guys. Nice job. Now you guys can switch up to work on the hammies and the quads. Simply bring in your feet closer together. Come down. Same thing. As slow as you need to go, shoot back up. I always like to have my elbows touch my knees. Slightly tap. Don't rest your body weight at all on your knees. Shoot back up and squeeze. You should feel a lot of tension within the hammies. Nice job, guys. Make sure you keep your back straight. That is essential within this workout. What you want to do, especially once everybody returns to the gyms, last thing you want to do is hurt your back. Believe me, it sucks. So what you want to do at all times, anytime you're doing a squat workout, do not go down like this. You'll have a herniated disc, you'll pull something. What you want to do is keep it straight at all times. Come down, back straight, touch, shoot back up, and squeeze. Nice job, guys. We're gonna make a quick switch. So, this is a partner workout. So what I like to do, this is my beautiful girlfriend here, Ashley. So what I like to do is take my partner here. I was like, man, what am I gonna do? I don't have a, a squat bar, I don't have anything here. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use my girlfriend as my weight. So, I simply come down here. Make sure that you're comfortable with this and your partner is comfortable with this. Make sure that your back is set, back is straight, and you're ready. She's gonna make a quick jump. All right, now you can alternate between the wide and the close. Remember the wide one is working the glutes, and the close ones are working the quads and the hammies. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the, for the glutes. I'm gonna come down here, keep the back straight at all times. Shoot back up and squeeze. Come back down. Slowly, come back up and squeeze. Last rep, and squeeze. Simple workout, all you need is just a partner. Um, so we're gonna go on to the next workout. So this is gonna be working on abdominals, okay? So this one is if you don't have a partner. I understand that not everybody's living with somebody who's willing to work out with you. Um, for this one, I like to put my hands back behind my shoulders, feet out. Now, you're gonna wanna lift your feet slightly off the ground. It's gonna create a lot of tension right here in the abdominals. What you're gonna wanna do, bring the knees in, back out, feet up, back down, knees in, back out, Feet up, back down. Simple workout, creates a lot of tension within the abdominals. Make sure that the feet are together at all times. Do not speed through the workout. The whole point is to create a lot of tension within the abdominal muscles. Great job, guys. Fantastic job. The slower you do it, the more difficult it is, creating a lot of tension within the lower abdominals. Nice job, guys. Now, now we're gonna switch to the partner abdominal workout. Mr. Nicholas, come over here again. Now this one I learned in the football practice in high school. Didn't think it was gonna be anything until I did it. Just simply come down here, partner's behind you. You're gonna put your head right where their shoes are at, pretty much. Grab their ankles, 
Feet are out. You're gonna wanna bring your feet up. He's gonna push. Now what I wanna do is keep my feet from touching the ground the whole time. A lot of tension is gonna be building up with the, the abdominal muscles. Now if it's too easy, I'll tell him to push a little bit harder. Feet straight at all times, perfect form. Nice job, okay. Go ahead and do that with your partner. Make sure that your feet are together at all times. Do not let them touch the floor. If it's too easy, ask your partner to push just a little bit harder to create a little bit more tension within the abdominal muscles. Great job, guys. Nice job. Once you guys get in about four to five reps there, go ahead and switch. Go ahead and switch. Nice job. Make sure, remember, keep your feet together, right? Nice job, guys. Beautiful. All right, guys, we are finished. Fantastic job. Quick 25 minute workout, absolutely no equipment needed. And look, I believe we all worked up a sweat. Fantastic job guys, go ahead and clap it up. Fantastic job. That's that 25 home workout, no equipment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining in on our short workout. Um, you can adjust, of course, each individual workout by five, 10 reps even if you're willing to. So that way you can make the workout just as long as you need it to. And uh, thank you so much for joining in. And we're going to create some more videos for you as soon as we can. All right. Thank you, guys. Again, this is Caesar. Now you've met the entire clan. Uh, we look forward to uh, putting out more uh, content for you, relevant content. Uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to our social media. Follow us. Critique us, please, particularly on this workout. We want to know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see. Uh, put our com your comments uh, uh, within the YouTube channel or in our Instagram, but reach out to us and let, know, let us know how we're doing and what it is that you want to see from us. We just want to be pertinent and relevant for you. Thank you so much, guys.